Hi everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I'm going to show you how to make this 6x6 double pop-up card. About a week ago, I shared a 5x7 version, which is this one here. So if any of you enjoyed this video, this is the, now the 6x6 that I promised. Use these very cute papers, which I'll show you in a moment, and then you open it up and you have this double pop-out. And you've got your happy B-Day there, and then on the back, you've got space to write your message. And for anybody that missed the 5x7 version, if you're new to the channel, this is the one that I already shared a week ago. So I'll link this one up now and it will also be linked at the end of the tutorial. But for today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this cute one. So this is the cute Bluebells and Buttercups by Craft Consortium. So I've got the 6x6 pad there and I got the decoupage. you got 3D decoupage here and I got the washi tape as well. So I've selected the, uh, the papers that I'm going to use and also I've used my chunky alphabet dies for the sentiment in the middle. So I've already prepared my card blank so this is a piece of 12 by 6 and you want to score along the 12 inch side at 6 inches and that will give you your 6 by 6 card blank if you don't have 12 inch size and you can use your letter paper size and you can use your a4 if it's a4 then you'll be cutting it to the whole length so i would then do by five and seven eighths and then i'd score along that 11 and three quarters at five and seven eighths which is halfway so that'd give you just it'll be a smidge under six by six and then if you've got the letter paper size which is 11 then your score i would do a piece of 11 by five and a half and score along the 11 at five and a half i'll pop those measurements in my blog but it just means your mat layers will be different you'll have to work those ones out i've got these four pieces of pattern paper two for the inside and then i've got one for the front this one's actually the back so i thought it would be nice to write my message in this section here and these are all the papers in the pad so i've already stuck those down on the four sides there okay then you will want to cut yourself four pieces or you may only want two if you if i go back to this one here if you just want to have one at the top and then maybe add all decoration and more stamped image in this area here you don't need this one so you may only want two of these pieces here this is what i'm talking about but i'm doing four which is what you'll need to have that double now these measure one and a half by two and a quarter this is the template and what you want to do is along the one and a half side you just want to score at three quarters of an inch all the way down through the middle you can see i've already got these ones here and then this is my fourth one so i'm just going to score there at three quarters through the middle pop it then on its side these here actually you just want to do them as very faint pencil lines or if you don't want to add any pencil at all what you just need to do is pop it along this side here and put a little notch little marker at three quarters of an inch and then at one and a half and that's that one three quarters of an inch and one and a half and then just flip it over again three quarters of an inch and one and a half and then you want to mark in the middle here so that's one and a half again just in that middle score line so you've done your one and a half on the edge there but just also do it along that score line that you've just popped there it now means that what we're going to do is just you can already see i've scored across from the top down to the little marker if you want to do two pencil lines through the middle at those two points that i said so at three quarters do a pencil line and at one and a half do a pencil line then that's fine but just remember to rub them out you want to do that two to four times depending on how many you want and then using my stylus and a ruler you're going to score from the top of this middle score line down to the little marker that you've done or down to the pencil line and then here you're starting from that one and a half marker on the score line down to the you know the the point of the the card there so i've just scored that one there and again i've already done these but i'm just going over them again and then that one and i'll take a picture of this little template and i'll pop it on my blog so there's the template so all you want is to have a triangle here and a triangle at the top there and then that score line through the middle okay next you're going to fold these end ones so you've got little wings at the front that middle score line you want to be a mountain fold with the wings like so. Make sure everything's straight if you need to manipulate it a little bit and do so. There we go. And then 
where you've got this little triangle at the bottom, you want to push that piece in like so. So that's that triangle. You're just pushing it inside itself. So you have that shape there. Okay. Like I said, you'll want to do that two or four times. Next, you want to cut yourself two pieces and these are five and three quarters by two and seven eighths. Now I've done the two and seven eighths because you need both of these to fit nicely inside here. And if you've done them both at three inches, they're just, you're probably gonna end up getting them touching and then they're gonna end up buckling. You wanna score along that five and three quarter side at two and seven eighths of an inch, okay? Right through the middle, just fold that in half. So now you've got these squares are two and seven eighths of an inch squared on each side. I've then cut these pattern pieces to two and five eighths of an inch squared so I've got a nice equal border and those images again are from the paper pad. They've got loads of like kind of got the scenes already made for you. There's those ones there so I've just taken those four but you also have these kind of strips and then you have those scenes there as well. Okay so once you've stuck your paper down just fold them in half so you've got kind of like a little book like so. And then you want to take one of these and you want it to be upside down. You want the opening facing away from you and you want the fold facing towards you. And then you want the wings on your left hand side. We're going to add glue all inside this piece here. And then you're going to grab the one that you want on the top and you're going to pop it inside here. Just bring it up near to the top, not right it, you know kind of flush with it because you might see it when you open it you see when you open that you don't want to see any of the mechanism and make sure that this is a nice right angle if this is not then the whole thing will, will it will open a bit wonky so just make sure if you turn it that way you should have that owl shape okay so just make sure that's all secure and then I'm going to get another one. Again, you want the open end facing away from you, folded side facing you, and the wings on the left. And then I'm going to, again, add my glue. Make sure you kind of spread it all out. If you don't have a fine tip like this, just get your finger in there and spread it all out. Then this one I'm going to pop just below. Again, making sure it's parallel with that one above. And by having them both towards the top here, so now when you open this, you won't see any of those and the, the winged pieces are what we're gonna to stick to the card. So those are gonna go along the top and then you wanna get the bottom one and the other two. And this time you're gonna flip it. So you want the folded side facing away from you and the open side facing you. Again, you still have the wings on the left-hand side, but again, I'm gonna add my glue all inside there. Grab this one, make sure this is the right way up and you're going to pop it towards the bottom. Now, if you want this to open up the same way as that one, just pop it the same way. So you'll, you'll be doing them both so they look like that. But because we're going to have one coming out from the top, one coming down from the bottom, you'll have them two facing that way, two facing down. Again, just make sure that's all secure. And then take your last one again, just pop your glue. And just secure that one in and again just open it make sure everything's kind of hidden and then you want to start attaching it so I'm going to do the top one first so just pop that one out of the way you're just going to pop your glue just on the little wings on the back side there leave these ones and then I'm going to line up the top of this with the mat layer or kind of just above the mat layer and you want the points here to just sit not on the score line but just kind of next to it. That will be just right. Again, make sure everything's nice and straight. And then with the bottom one, again, popping it, a bit of glue just on the wings there. And this one, I'm gonna just sit it, again, just near that matte layer. You can just line it up with the one that you've already laid down. And then what you need to do now is add your glue on all of the other sides. 
and then just close the card. I just hold that there for a minute until that's completely dry. Okay, and now when you open the card, you have those double pop-ups. Really, really fun. You've got so much space to decorate here if you want to. But I want to have Happy Birthday running through the middle. Now, I did lay out the dies before the video and Birthday fits in there, but it's very, very tight. And then the Happy's obviously got more room. And then I tried putting the B on this side, but then the the kind of open white area here looked like the I and it just didn't work. It just didn't look right. So I'm going to have Happy B Day. So what I've done is I've already cut and layered up my letters here and then I've just taken the I and I've just cut it in half and that's just going to be my little dash. So I'm going to have this so that it kind of appears in the middle when you open up the card. You could do this before, but I wanted to make sure I get this obviously in between these two. But you can see there how the happy looks. I covered these with glossy accents as well and just let them dry. So they're just, they're like little, they almost turn into little like chipboard pieces. They're really, really strong. But it's going to be something like that in the middle and then the B day will be in the middle there. I thought that way because I've got the same number of elements. So that's the B day and then obviously the happy there. So I'm going to get that stuck down. So that's the happy birthday or happy B day stuck down. I think it looks great. I love the way it shines. What I might also do is add some glossy accents onto their eyes. Maybe a little glitter like on the wings of the bee and stuff just to make that sparkle as well. But I think that looks great. And then on the front, I've got the topper here, which is the one on the front of the pack. So you just layer up the pieces. They've all got numbers. It says layer two, layer three, layer four. You just stick them on top of each other with some foam and then it gives you that dimensional little image there. And then I just found this sentiment, which I really like, may all your wishes come true. So I've already cut a piece of white card, popped it onto that, just rounded the edges and then used some of the paper from the pad. And then I'm just going to grab my glue and stick that down in the middle. I'll give you the size actually. So, I mean, if you've got the decoupage, then it's the square size that it comes in. So you don't need to worry about that. But the white piece is three and seven eighths. It's a bit of a funny size squared. Um, it was just to give it that border really. And then that piece is four and three quarters squared. So I've kept the front, you know, kind of simple. These cards again are, display, are, are designed to be displayed open, but it's still nice for them to have something cute to look at when you open the uh, envelope. So I'm just going to line that all up. I might pop a little bit of foam on that one just again to give it some more dimension. And then I've also got some bows here. I think that could look really sweet. In fact, that blue goes really nicely. Let's just see what other ones I've got. I'm actually going to go for the hot pink because I think it just lifts all the other pink. There's quite a lot of blue already in there. So I'm just going to pop this glue. I'll probably end up using my hot glue on this, but just for the purposes of the video. But we'll pop that one just at the top there. So that's the front all finished. I might add some glitter though to the butterflies again, like I mentioned on the characters inside. And then you open it up and you have that really fun that double pop out feature. And then you've got your space on the back there to be able to write your message. There is some bulk to this. So you might want to pop it in one of my box envelopes or bouncy envelopes. I'll link that playlist up here now. And you may also decide you want to add a belly band to this. So you could turn the decoupage into the topper on the belly band and then they slide that off. And there's the five by seven again. So you can see two very different ways to decorate these. So whether you just like stamping and coloring, then you can do something like I've done here and make your own pattern paper. Or if you have lots of your pattern papers and decoupage, toppers and things like that, then you can see how the card will look using those. I think they both look fab. And um, yeah, I can't wait to give these to people. So thank you for watching. I hope you like the six by six size. I will link as much as I can in the description box below. The five by seven video will be popping up now if you want to go check this one out. And I'll share another pop up one there as well. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe and hit that grey bell button and then it will go red. And that means you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Thanks for watching. I'll be back again soon. Bye.